ChatGPT 4 for free and on your mobile device? Yes, you heard right. This festive season, Microsoft played Senta, quietly rolling out Copilot for both Android and iOS. I'm Samuel Boulanger, and in this video, I'm going to take you to how you can leverage Copilot to spark up a chat for suggestions. We pop images out of thin air and craft text with ease, all from the comfort of your palm. Curious? Stick around as I unwrap all these features for you. First up, let's look at the installation process and explore the app interface. You first need to obviously install the application. Uh, you can do a search on Google Play or the App Store, or you can just follow the links in the description. Now that it's done and that you're in the app, um, if you want to have access to your chat history and not be limited uh, on the number of questions you can ask in the conversation length, you will need to sign in. So you'll just click on the sign in button at the top uh, left and click on sign in. Already have, I'm already logged in on this device, so I'll just select my account, and that's it. I'm now logged in. And that's it. No other prerequisite or Microsoft license required. Now let's go back to the main interface. Basically, the application can do all the same thing as Bing Chat, but in this video, we'll explore what I think make it must a must-have application on mobile. First, let's explore the interface. So from the three little dot, you can create a new topic, uh, which I recommend each time you change subject so the AI doesn't get confused. Uh, it can also be done through the chat bubble icon at the bottom. Uh, you have access to previous chat history. Uh, in the case you need to consult a previous sensor or want to continue conversation, let's close this. You can also provide feedback or delete a chat if you don't want to keep the history. Now let's turn our attention to the main chat section. The first thing you will notice is that you can choose to use GPT-4 or not. If you don't, I'm not sure which model it will use, but I assume it's 3.5 Turbo. I might be wrong though, as I didn't find any details in the documentation. The app state that it might be slower if you're using GPT-4 when you're selecting it, but to be honest, I found it pretty fast in all my tests, so it's up to you. Uh, you can select if you want to ask questions using text by using the text input, uh, using an image, or using voices. And we'll cover them all during the video. Now, let's explore what the application can do. So imagine this, you're on the road heading to Toronto, and you've got time to spare before meeting with a client. You want to find a nice coffee shop to work, but you can type as you're driving. So what do you do? You just ask your AI co-pilot. Let's see it in action. First, let's select the mic icon to switch to voice. Find me a coffee shop near the Microsoft office where I can work. Sure, I can help you find a coffee shop near the Microsoft office. According to the web search results, there are several options for you to choose from, depending on your preferences and location. Here are some of them. Starbucks, this... So I'll, ch I'll just stop it. So you hear that? The AI reads back suggestion in a clear, natural voice, keeping my hands free and my focus on the road. You can then ask more questions and have a conversation with Copilot, like uh, asking for parking nearby the coffee shop uh, or more details on a, specific, uh, on a specific coffee. Now you arrive at Toronto and walking down the street, you stumble upon a building with an interesting architecture. You want to learn more about the building history. So, You'll take a picture from the application and we'll, we'll ask to learn more about the building uh, directly from the picture itself. So let me select the camera option. And then since I'm in my office, it's a bit tricky. So I'll take a picture of a picture on my computer. There we go. And we'll ask Copilot what is this building in Toronto. Now, it is the Gooderham Building, uh, also known as the Flatiron Building, and I got all the detail directly um, from Copilot. He, he evens 
provide me with the different sources from where we get this information. So with just a snap, our AI assistant dives into the history of the building and he provided us with all these interesting details. I can even get more detail uh, by accessing the sources from the web by simply clicking on the text, which will open um, an integrated web browser, and I'll be able to have more detail regarding this building. This works with anything you might think of to photograph. Uh, I tested it with a lot of different objects, buildings, um, uh, plants, if you want to, to try it. And it's, it's, I found it's personally very impressive. But it's not all work. Now I'm at a coffee shop and I just remember it's my nephew's birthday. I know he's a Star Wars fanatic, so let's create a team birthday cake image to send him a surprise Instagram mission, message. So first, let's create a prompt. Create an image of a birthday cake for a 21 year old who like Star Wars. Now first the AI assess my request and then it will work on generating the image for me. So right now it's generating the image. Uh, it, will, it will give me different choices. It will let me choose between different images. Here the AI came up with four different choices which are pretty great if you ask me. So let's click on this one for instance. That is pretty cool, right? And if I don't like this one, I can try another one. And if I don't like the result at all, I can ask for modifications. Uh, it has basically no end. I can just interact with the AI asking for modifications to some of these pictures and we'll come back with, with modifications. So let's say I say, oh, um, my mistake is 22. And then the AI will create me uh, four new images based on what I just provided as a prompt. There you go. And you know, what's a cake without some witty birdie wishes? Watch as I will ask Copilot to craft a message that's sure to make him smile. So let's use that prompt uh, now, right? Uh, birthday wishes message. That goes with it. Let's ask, let add a bit of uh, instruction. It must be funny and mention that I can't wait to see him next week to celebrate. Let's look at the answer. Happy birthday to the coolest 22 years old in the galaxy, your true Jedi master in a force to be reckoned with. Hope you enjoy your Star Wars team cake and it's gone and on and on. So as you can see, in a matter of less than a minute, I've been able to generate a custom image. I've been able to generate a custom text. Uh, and obviously you can use those functionality for all different use cases. Uh, I, I will say at that point that your imagination is the only limit. So, all right, we've seen the Microsoft Copilot app in action, uh, making everyday task a breeze with GPT-4's intelligence. From effortlessly finding a coffee shop in Toronto using just our voice, to uncovering the history of an eye-catching building, to sending a Star Wars team birthday wish, this app really does it all. I'm Samuel Boulanger. And it's been my pleasure to walk you through this uh, Alite threat from Microsoft. Remember, all these features are now just a tap away on any Android or iOS device. Thanks for joining me. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, take care and enjoy exploring with your new AI companion.
See ya.